It's the first day of winter and Lucy Polkinghorn from Sky News Weather is at the Australian Botanic Gardens near Camden, one of the coldest suburbs in Sydney. So what's it like there this morning? Well, uh, Laura, I'm actually overdressed this morning. It's quite a mild start to winter. This morning, temperatures getting down to 9 degrees, which is quite warm for this time of the year, particularly when we did see widespread cold mornings right across New South Wales and also Queensland throughout the month of May. In fact, some areas in Sydney and also Brisbane seeing record-breaking minimum temperatures for May, Camden included. So the average minimum for May in Camden is usually around 7 degrees. But last month, that that plummet to 3.6 degrees, the minimum average throughout that month of May. So you would be forgiven for thinking that winter has arrived early. Now for the rest of winter, what we can expect, at least for the, the start of winter, is a wet start to the east and west of the country. We're also expecting more very frosty and cold mornings with some mild days as well. But then as we move through winter into the month of July, we'll start to see a drying trend and also a warming trend too. So we can expect expect above average temperatures throughout the day and also overnight as well. So that is some good news, I suppose, if you don't like the cold conditions, as we are expecting that to change throughout July. But here at the Australian Botanic Gardens, um, it is quite a pleasant morning, I have to say. And Laura, you'd usually think that flowers would be blooming in spring <laughs> and would expect more bare conditions. However, this is uh, mainly native plants. And in fact, some of our natives do enjoy the cooler months, like banksias, paper daisies, and and also wattle as well. So still plenty to see and lots of people out this morning <laughs> enjoying what is a warmer morning than what we have seen over the past month. Stunning too. Lucy, thanks so much.